right, guys, here's the next hard request on the list. And this is Aerosmith, What It Takes, awesome song. Let's hear it. I'm Sean Cheek, and welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. We're about to do the part one lesson right here. All of the lessons for this are on webpianoteacher.com. And I have beginner lessons. If you are a complete beginner or you're new to my method, need a little time to get used to it. I have 79 beginner lessons on webpianoteacher.com. This is more of an advanced lesson. So if you're uh, you know, uh, into the intermediate level or advanced, this could be something you do. This is an arrangement that has melody in the right hand. So it's going to have the chords you like for those of you who want to play along and sing because you're just chording on the piano if you're doing that. But also the melody in the right hand is pretty cool for those of you who want to do that. So that's what this arrangement is about. I put the melody and tried to transcribe uh, exactly what Steve is singing and uh, put that in the right hand for you. So let's start the intro here. <clears throat> And I will just say for the left hand, I have one letter written. Uh, and that's to give you the freedom to vamp that left hand. Whenever you see a G, we're going to do this. G, D, G. The right hand's kind of taking that top note. But G and D, it's called the octave and the fifth or the root and the fifth. G and D. Whenever we see D, we're going to do this. D, A, D. It's always five, two, one very common piano figure if you haven't ever done this just the octave and the fifth whenever we see an E we're gonna go E B E there's the D A D again then C G C it, it all feels the same in your hand um, so that's what we're gonna do in the left hand the right hand let's take a look there is a little piano in this and you hear the you know the piano playing so when I hear that strong I kind of put that in there but mostly it's melody in the right hand and I even put the the guitar solo is in this you know the guitar solo in the middle I transcribed that so we're going to play that guitar solo and I think it sounds sounds pretty good if I do say so myself and also the other instruments that you hear on the chorus part it sounds like a not bagpipes but I can't think of the, the name of the instrument but you hear it on the chorus that's in there as well so uh, we are kind of capture the whole feeling and style of this, this song and, and, you know, shrink it down for our piano to play with one person. So I think that's pretty cool. Put the right hand G, D, G octave. Okay. So we still have the same deal. Now on the third measure... Gonna go G D, and this is where I hear the piano part. If you listen closely, you might put on some headphones that cover the ear. You'll hear things you never heard before that uh, that you didn't hear when you were riding in your car with your tape deck, you know. And, and uh, but B E three times, one two three, then A D F sharp one two four two times on that, and then G C E at the end. So it's right here one and. left hand goes down. We go to a C chord here. By the way, the chords, you have G chord, D chord, E minor, D, and then C chord. So we're starting off in the key of G. Um, and then we end up in the key of B flat for the, you know. And all that. So it's kind of a neat uh, chord the way that the keys go. It doesn't, it's not traditional, you know, to be in G and all of a sudden be in B flat. It's pretty cool. But that last C chord here, G, C, E, I'll use one, two, four, then a single D, G octave. So we have one and two and 
And again, I'll have people say, oh, you're going too fast, slow down. And then come to find out they're, they've never played piano before. Uh, this is too hard for you, this one, if you've never played an instrument, <laughs> okay? You need beginner lessons. Get them somewhere. If you don't get them from me, get them somewhere else. Uh, but I do have them on my site if you happen to want to try mine. But you need to work up to this level. Most people quit piano and playing other instruments because they try to jump ahead to something they're not ready for, and they're leaving out a big section of stuff that they need before they get to that level, all right? You can't. Skip over the process. It is a process for everyone. And they, you know, I hear a little there, a little, what you improve a little bit every day. And you have to be at the right level wherever you are. So that is just the intro. And then the singing actually starts there. There goes my old girlfriend. And I'm going to show you some ways you can play it down here, or you can play up here. So just changing the octave can really add a lot to your arrangement. So I like my transcriptions to be kind of a blueprint for you to make this your own and play it how you want to, whether you want to play the octave up or octave down, whether you want to put the fills in or not put them in, uh, or put them in later the second time around. Uh, we all have personal taste that way, and I like to let you exercise that muscle of your creativity when you're uh, playing by ear in this way. So hope you enjoyed that part one lesson. Again, all of it's already on the website, webpianoteacher.com. Thousands of other lessons on there if you like this type of music. I've been doing this for 12 years online years all together but uh, the online gig is pretty good because you can reach so many people that way anyway had a lot, had a lot of fun talk to you guys later